Hello everyone and welcome to a new series named Chromecraft. So before anything, on the last one of Terracraft, it so happened to be a war and the server got destroyed. So me and my friends came together and created this new server. It's going to be a Hermitcraft style SMP and I hope I can make it interesting enough for you guys to enjoy. It is running the latest 1.18.1 update and it is looking beautiful. I think this should be the grand reveal of the place where this a bunch of my me and a bunch of my friends have decided to set up. You might think that just an cave. Now let me show you. Dun, dun, ta -da! Just look at this. I mean, how be beautiful is that? First thing first, we go we come inside. Then there is a long staircase going down to the valley. There is one base right here, another base is right here. There is another base right there. Then there is base, a base right here. I mean, just look at these beautiful, magnificent mountains. Those frozen peaks looks amazing. The caves and cliffs, cliffs update. I think it is one of the, the most amazing update. Yeah. When it, when it comes to the visuals of the game. I mean, how beautiful are those mountains. Here we go. The day is gone by. And now let me show you. First thing first. This is my friend Blackout's base. And I mean, this is a quite a spectacle when it come from the tavern. Then we look behind and we see another base right there, which is currently under progress. There is a small farm and it is giving a beautiful vibes. And once again, I mean, just look at those snowy peaks, those frozen peaks, those giant mountains. How beautiful is that? Then there is another base. From the looks of it, it is most looking like a Japanese style house. A custom tree on progress. And then let me show you where I am going to be set. This time I am going to be have a, a duo partner. There will be two uh, people running the same base. First thing first, we get up this staircase, which needs a little bit of terraforming and a little bit of decoration, which I might do at some time, uh, do sometime later. And uh, when you climb all the way up there, and uh, there you go. This humble abode is the base, which is me and Hazel are going to be operating together. So I haven't made any a lot of progress yet. I all I have got is a broken pass, and these are all my belongings right now. First episode is going to be a little bit slow and maybe a tad bit boring because. The start of Minecraft, Minecraft world is always very slow. It takes time to build a Minecraft empire, a lot of time. Currently, I am planting and sorting out the food situations. All I have is two pumpkin pies, nothing else. Let me sort of my food first. 12 seconds later. Once again, I am going to act like a, like a spanger. But I mean, come on, just look at this. <laughs> hey y'all come look at this! Especially this area we are settling in this small valley. I haven't decided to get a name yet. Just look at those mountains. Just look at And I am going to grab that area. I see you. I am going to grab that before I do anything else. A few moments later. I just scaled up the mountain. I am I mean, look at this. Look at how magnificent is the valley looking right now. Look at this. So beautiful is that. So let's get back down to the base. I feel like I'm going to break my ankles going down this. So almost there, almost there. Please do not break your ankles. No. Ah, I almost close to that. Just magnificent. Got myself some basic iron. Let's grab uh, my food and uh, let's make some basics. Just give me a minute. Later. Basic tool and armor has been gathered. I'm a dictionary and I look at me. Just before I was looking like a broke homeless man now. It's a bit better. So let's grab all these extra carrots because every bit of food matters right now. It will take a little bit of time to get started with a lot of food. Here I go. Let's re replant the carrots. Carrots have been replanted and let's go down the staircase. The last 
spider spirit is up the room and let's sleep the night away so let's go explore some caves nearby we have dare i say so myself a very magnificent looking dripstone cave one of the biggest plan i have is to make an full auto smelter which might not be possible in this episode but we'll see what happens and let's go exploring and people come on just light the caves we do not want incredible amounts of monsters spawning while you are exploring the cave or doing that yes once again mojang has done incredible job on this cave and this upgrade everything just looks brighter now even though i barely got 30 fps but just you can just tell that they had or have some work and oh my god that's a lot of copper i need iron more than anything and by iron i mean tons and tons of iron if i need iron and i need a whole lot of coal just look at this hey y'all come look at this how big and ginormous the caves are that before you use it used to feel claustrophobic in caves now it is fun it is fun exploring this the un unexplored depths of the caves there is glow icon i am definitely going to come back for that and what is this one, one tip for, for those guys who get lost in the caves whenever you go caving place torches on your left side this will make it easier to retrace your steps back or keep them on right and you will back where you just started this is an important tip i have been playing for a a lot a uh, long time now i have play, been playing minecraft for a long time and this is one of the most beautiful pieces of advice i have come upon oh, yes we found a skeleton spawner we found a skeleton spawner this is great news shoot each other shoot come on shoot each other yes and oh my god look at that no, that's some beautiful piece of me. And that's a prime real estate. That's free real estate. I mean I'm going to claim this. I know I have an idea. Let's make this into a skeleton grinder in the first episode. That would be a fun project to do because it does not need that much reels. This fun has the claim swiggly line double S. There we go. Now those shouldn't shouldn't be a problem anyway. Just coming up and re disclaiming this is and right here but one of the most important discoveries this skeleton spawner and i am going to make this xp fun i need lots of iron i mean i have future project in mind which is going to require about and i mean just look at these beauty how beautiful these caves are nowadays I almost broke my ankles. I can't I climb here. I need to light this cave up. No mobs can spawn and it improves the efficiency of the spawner whenever I turn it into a grinder. And I I am going to do this. But after a little bit of exploring, this much should be enough for now. And oh, I need my shot. A big, which is big news. These rails are very valuable. In the early game, these rails are very, very valuable. Come on, excuse me. Do you mind? I am like talking right here. I just recovered from the skeleton fight and I think I'm going to explore this cave a little bit more, get the more up, up more iron and then I'm going to start work on the skeleton XP grinder. I will go I will take you through how I normally make pop grinders and the train, even though it looks very beautiful, it is very hard to traverse. I mean I am constantly breaking my ankles, almost dying constantly just from the terrain. Oh my god, I just found the mother road. These trails are very valuable to me right now because later I'm, I am going to make a lot of farms and these are going to be used in all of them. These are going to save me uh, tons of materials. Also, let's explore where this money shop takes us. Let's go this way. A few inches later. Run, 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 run. I do not have my shield, I do not have my... Ow, 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 ow. Mm. 
Where is my shield? Where is my food? I almost cried once again. Seriously, for those of you who are wondering, I am not very good at fighting mobs. At Thousands of tears later. Once again, I have recovered all my stuff from another tragedy. And the skeletons are being just bad people to me. They are like bullying me, right? I mean, come on. I know I am not that well prepared. That doesn't mean that you can, you guys can bully me. You I have found even more rares and even more iron vitties, which is a good news, not only good, which is an excellent news. I am also lighting this place up properly so that mobs do not spawn, right? Do not spawn, and it's definitely a better thing to do, best thing to do, especially in the early game. You do not want mobs, mobs spawning everywhere. Even more rails, which is definitely a beautiful news, and let's see. But uh, no, these are powerless. I mean, these are also very good. Uh, I was hoping for some uh, another golden god apple. I mean, you can never be you can never be uh, too lucky. Even more rails, even more rails. Oh no 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 no! One hour later. A brief summary. So I was exploring this man shaft and I died due to bad internet connection. Then Messi came and came to help me. Now he has also died right down there. And I am going to see. I have been busy dying a lot in the cave. Me, Messi, and Black Arrow, we were down there like constantly dying, bombarded by mobs. And there were lots of mobs. Oh, come on, not the rain again. It makes my graph looks very sad. And down there, I found something very marvelous. Look at this. I mean, come on. Also, fire part is okay. I, I have got a little bit of iron, which is I am going to use to make Kelly XP grinder right uh, down in the mines. I'll see you after preparing some stuff. One eternity later. All the iron has been smelted and I am going to make this skeleton grinder. So the basic materials you need is basically one, two hoppers should be good enough. A few sand, some water buckets and some building blocks and that's it. The granite is usually very easy to make. make. This many materials should be enough to build the farm. Grinder it is going to be a very simple grinder. Not very easy to build. I will show you the, all the process so did I achieve that and or how to build it very easy. You need what you need to do is that you need to light your spanner then you need to make a 9 by 9 room around the spawner. I will see you after I have dug out the room. Later. A bit of advice for those working to convert a spawner into a mob farm. Instead of placing torches all over the spawner, you should do something like this. It will be, later it will make life a lot easier and make things a lot easier to, to create. You can thank me later in the comment section. Another bit of advice for you when you are building a spawner slash XP farm. You need to go at least four blocks down from the spawner position so that the mobs can spawn there very, very easily. I am also later going to block this off, but currently I'm going to use this open so that so far, far. The next day, my hauling of the room is almost done. It just needs a little bit of life, and then we I am going to focus on the collection system. The room for the skeleton spawner has been hollowed out. Next thing I need to work on a collection system and a way to access the collection system. So I am basically going to have the skeleton go from here to here. Water, water can flow up to four, eight blocks and then from here I am going to set them in a corner. So I have been busy and I have built a basic collection system. The reason for building a man, man by nine collection area is that the room is that the water goes close to eight block and what this water is going to do is that this is going to bring skeletons to basically here and from here they are going to go right across here here they are going to fire right on this right on this supper and this is where i am going to be killing them next thing i want to talk about is how i place my torches now what this does it uh, what this way of placing torches does is that it makes easier to later 
break those break the touches and also i am not going to make this farm look that pretty at all because it's a farm it's supposed to get resources not look pretty i might work it work on work on something later but not for now i am going to just close it also there needs to be complete darkness for this curtains to spawn so i am going to block off this wall completely and i will see you after that so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one i have completely blocked off, blocked off the farm and now let's see that do any skeleton spawn at all and here we go voila skeletons are here currently the spawning rates are not that great at all because the UK's ground are not lit at all properly they are just a need to be light up and next thing this farm is very convertible you can very easily convert this farm into a stray farm by placing powder rice right there in back at this skeleton farm i did not find any powder snow and demands but i have some things to improve the farm a little bit first thing first i need to kill him as quickly as possible so that i can place some carpet around here come on yes car i have placed the carpet next thing i need to get Trapdoors. These trapdoors are going to make the skeletons blind to me, so that I can later kill them. I think this should work. No, it, I need to place it right here. Hypothetically, this this should make them blind to me. So I'm going to be killing some skeletons here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.